Hello, I'm Ken Chilton, CTO of Huawei Storage and Data Management. Today, I will be sharing with you the presentation, Industrial Trend of Distributed Storage. Understanding the distributed storage industry requires knowledge of both the business trends, which affect the enterprises, and the technology trends, which drive the evolution of distributed storage. First, we'll take a look at the business trends. Distributed storage has gone through four stages of development. First, in the 1980s, we saw network file systems. In the 1990s, we saw the evolution of SAN cluster storage. In the 2000s, we saw shared nothing storage. Enterprise class distributed storage has emerged in the 2010s. Enterprise class distributed storage has been widely applied across industries due to its improved performance, efficiency, and data protection. Now let's look at the application of distributed storage. The non-critical services of carriers has been moved to the cloud. Distributed storage has created a unified cloud resource pool for multiple domain convergence of BOM systems. Cloud resource pools have replaced traditional siloed storage to greatly improve storage resource utilization, shorten service rollout, and to slash costs. Many financial enterprises have coped with storage surges of internet finance by using high-end all-flash storage for their core systems and distributed storage for their peripheral services. The elastic resource allocation of distributed storage has improved the development and deployment efficiency of new services by more than 80%. It also has put mobile app strategy into full swing. The rapid development of big data technology has driven more and more enterprises to build unified data lakes. And this also allows them to implement a unified data mining and unlock the value of their data. Building a unified data lake based on distributed storage to decouple storage and compute effectively solves the problems of low resource utilization and enables data sharing and ecological openness that traditional big data platforms face. Distributed storage has become the premier choice for global customers in their cloud journey. According to Gartner's sales data for the secondary storage market from 2018 Q1 through 2019 Q4, the quarterly growth rate of secondary storage, or as we call it, distributed storage, has averaged 54% continuing a trend of rapid growth across consecutive quarters. The Market Insight Department at Huawei predicts that distributed storage will continue to maintain a compound annual growth rate of 28.5% from 2019 all the way through 2023. IDC is predicting that about 40% of global storage systems will use distributed storage or some distributed architecture by 2023. The rapid growth of cloud computing has fast-tracked distributed storage over the last decade. 5G and AI will become the new catalyst for service innovation and data production in the next decade and further broaden the market space for distributed storage. 5G will create a more than 20-fold increase in the current connections and result in over 75 billion connections. AI will greatly improve data mining and increase the proportion of new data storage. Unstructured data, such as videos, images, and text, will make up more than 80% of the data in the future and will become the major source in distributed storage. The explosive data growth of unstructured data also poses new challenges to distributed storage in terms of capacity, performance, and cost. For example, one level three autonomous driving test vehicle can generate up to 60 terabytes of data every day. Multiple vehicles then would be generating petabytes of data every day. This data is required to be analyzed within 24 hours because the next day there's a whole new set of data to be captured. With hundreds of petabytes of data being captured and stored, this is a huge amount of data 
And this represents part of the explosive growth and an example of it that we'll see. But even more than this, retention times are also increasing. For this uh, level three driving data, the customers expect to keep this data for 30 years to meet their standard requirements. From a perspective of user services, high value services such as databases and AI are increasingly used by all flash storage for higher performance. Low value services such as big video and backup, they're utilizing high density hardware for less equipment room space and also lower power consumption. All flash and high density dedicated hardware are the main products developed by storage vendors. All flash hardware features one enclosure with multiple controllers to get you the full potential out of the all flash media. High density hardware features more than 20 disks per U, which is twice what you would normally find in general hardware. With legacy business models based on raw capacity, customers are obtaining varying real capacities for the same hardware depending on the data redundancy model. It makes it almost impossible to purchase the desired capacity without re wasting money or having capacity shortfalls. The business model of available capacity, pioneered by Huawei and Dell EMC, has simplified this process. This model eliminates miscommunication between the business and procurement departments of customers. This model also translates those innovative technologies between different vendors into practical customer benefits. Vendors with a strong technical uh, capability uh, that can meet customer requirements with, a, uh, with a less hardware uh, and can reduce the equipment footprint and power consumption can be effectively compared. So now let's take a look at the emerging technologies in distributed storage. Technical innovation of distributed uh, storage technology over the next uh, decade will focus on three key points. First, the rise of AI technology will make storage more intelligent and allow it to realize the AI in storage uh, desire. Secondly, QLC, SEM, and NVMe over fabric technology will redefine the development of distributed storage. Lastly, the, this emerging media and the challenges uh, posed by mass diversified data will have to change the storage architecture. So first, let's look at the AI enablement. The increasing popularity of cloud deployment for distributed storage systems is generating gigantic workloads and volumes of reliability uh, data that, that we have in the cloud. Synergizing that cloud training and on-premises inf uh, inference will allow storage systems to model fault and risk identification and optimize the training models for intelligent decision making. This means that storage systems will be able to use the training and inference of mass models to detect things like faulty disks in advance, and that will help reduce data risks. Systems can also automatically adjust caching policies and adjust the read and write data models to adapt to different performance needs. Potential performance bottlenecks and capacity risks can be therefore predicted in advance to protect service stability. Applying AI to the entire life cycle of storage creates a truly autonomous storage, or as we call it, the self-driving storage. In the planning phase, AI training can generate different application templates to simplify service definition and reduce your initial investment. In the construction phase, services can be remotely deployed and automatically provisioned for faster deployment. In the operation and maintenance phase, Edge Cloud Synergy helps pre predict risks and provide solutions to more than 90% of the problems that you might encounter. Finally, in the optimization phase, automatic optimization for different models improves resource utilization with automatic resource provisioning and reclamation. Next, let's look at how the media itself is evolving. SSDs are replacing HDDs to become the mainstream storage media due to their high performance, large capacity, and lower power consumption. Among the current SSD MIDI media types, 
QLC uh, has emerged to store four bits per cell. This means that QLC has the largest capacity and a cost that is similar to that of an HDD. However, the performance and service life of QLC is lower than that of other SSD types. Storage vendors will be looking for many measures such as disk controller collaboration, intelligent data identification, and reconstruction algorithm updates to improve the performance and service life of QLC. They will try to give full play to the capacity advantages of QLC in order to complete the HDD replacement. Obviously, QLC SSDs are already become, becoming the mainstream choice for storage vendors in the future. Data access protocols are also undergoing a dramatic transformation. Traditional SAS protocols only transfer data from SAS disks to the CPU through a SAS controller. The SAS controller is therefore a bottleneck for the data transmission. In addition, one channel can only support 32 concurrent IOs, and so you have a concurrency bottleneck as well. The NVMe protocol eliminates the transmission bottleneck by having each of the disks directly communicate with the CPU. In addition, it supports grouping cores and queues, allowing one channel to support 64K of concurrent IOs. This does away with those concurrency bottlenecks. The innovative network protocol of NVMe over Fabric is drawing out the full power of N NVMe SSDs. It can be implemented in an end-to-end -end architecture with multiple physical networks, such as Fiber Channel or InfiniBand or Rocky. It provides the same access methods for both local and remote NVMe devices. So this convergence of protocols greatly improves the performance and makes the management of the system much simpler. How have distributed storage vendors responded to the challenges of emerging media and the diversification of mass data? What we see is architecture innovation. The flash native algorithm innovatively reduces costs and optimizes performance for SSDs. Erasure coding is gradually replacing the copy model for cost optimization. It increases space utilization reduces data write amplification, and extends the service life of flash chips. Multiple deduplication and compression mechanisms, such as adaptive variable length dedupe and compression, similarity-based deduplication, and dedicated compression have become standard configurations. These reduce the amount of data written and extend the service life of flash memory. Offloading error correction encryption and compression algorithms with dedicated chips like FPGAs and offloading network functions to things like TOES uh, are mainstream measures for performance optimization. Storage then can focus on reading data and writing data and the performance that, it requ that the customer requires and doing so with a minimum of latency. Small IOs are commonly aggregated and then written to disks. Non-full stripes are written to disks in, in an incremental EC model. And data is written to disks in an append-only model. This improves data write performance and extends the service life of flash chips. Algorithm innovations create a perfect balance for SSDs between cost and performance and will pave the way for the evolution from hard disk drives to solid state drives. Before solid state drives were the norm, Enterprise customers were using two mainstream architectures. First was the centralized storage model, which uses the shared everything architecture. This features low scalability, but also gives you low latency. Distributed storage uses a shared nothing architecture. This allows for higher scalability, but comes at a cost of higher latency due to the network overhead. NVMe SSDs will yield a much higher performance and service life than that of HDDs. The performance of CPUs and the service life of controllers uh, could become a bottleneck in uh, a distributed architecture. Another problem with SSDs like QLC is that the capacity of a single disk could be reaching several terabytes. This brings new difficulties in terms of data migration and reconstruction in case of a disk failure. 
Therefore, a new architecture is urgently required to cope with these challenges. And this is the environment in which Huawei developed the disaggregated architecture. This architecture decouples the controller and storage media, allowing it to provide on-demand capacity expansion. It also provides the NVMe over fabric network connection, offering a, the lowest possible latency to make full use of the media value. After the controllers and the storage media are decoupled, controllers can be replaced without any disk replacements. This supercharges the high performance when updating the controllers and massively lowers the cost of volume data migration and implements the ever new storage. In the area of 5G plus AI, finding new ways to find the value in unstructured data is a pressing concern for any global enterprise. Challenges include how to integrate the mainstream unstructured data services such as files, objects, and HDFS. This is possible due to data convergence. Data convergence has gone through two phases. The first is a multi-service convergence represented by Ceph, where one storage system can provide multiple services, but it cannot implement an interworking of that in, uh, unstructured data. The other phase is a gateway approach where a gateway protocol interworking can be based on file and object services. And this pro pro is, provides you a basic protocol interworking. However, gateway interworking provides performance uh, bottlenecks as well as incomplete semantics. Uh, that makes this type of convergence really insufficient in actual use. Therefore, an uncompromising uncom interworking of unstructured data has to become the mainstream. A unified platform that converges data, file, object, and HDFS services provides an effective interconnected data system without affecting service semantics and ensuring efficient processing of unstructured data. The next generation of intelligent data storage is set to lead the industry for the next decade. In terms of performance, the disaggregated architecture running over NVMe over fabric gives full play to all flash hardware. An architecture running EC with multi-dimensional deduplication and compression can provide optimal data reduction ratios. Unstructured data interworking can, can significantly improve data processing efficiencies. For management, edge cloud synergy and automated lifecycle management are supported by AI technologies reducing the management and maintenance costs. Thank you.